Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 7th of 2020, well, it is titled OU4, a giant squid in a flying bat. So where can you find a giant squid inside a flying bat? Well, probably only out in space and using the imagination of imagining what various shapes look like. We see here a couple of different things and we see the larger area a great red area which is the emission of hydrogen gas and that is what is known as the flying bat nebula. So that is actually hydrogen emission where hydrogen gas is excited by hot stars and that excite the atoms of hydrogen and remove their electrons. When the electrons recombine they give off specific wavelengths of light and very prominent in the visible is the distinct deep red color that we see here. Now within the flying bat we see a giant squid in blue. Now the blue color is showing the emission from oxygen atoms, but not ordinary oxygen atoms, but oxygen atoms which have had two electrons taken away. So a neutral oxygen atom would have eight protons in its nucleus and eight electrons orbiting it. This is ionized hydrogen with two of those electrons gone. So it's intense energy enough that two of those electrons are stripped off the atom and are kept that way. So that gives off a very distinct bluish green light that we see here in the vague shape of a squid. Now what is this and what is involved? This is actually a relatively recent discovery. The Squid Nebula discovered in 2011. So it hasn't even been known for a decade yet. But it looks like it is actually an outflow region material being expelled by the triple star system at its center. So very energetic young hot set of stars uh, towards the very central portion of the squid. And though this, that material is then being pulled pushed out and expelled outward as these stars orbit around each other in two directions. And generally we see things tend to go in two opposite axes like this, one direction, one in one direction and one in another direction. And we see the intense shock waves, especially towards the top and bottom of the squid, where the material is then crashing into other material within the interstellar medium. So it's all that and due to the excitation as it hits various things that will help heat it up. And still some of the energy from these very hot stars is also energizing the blue color as well. So altogether, it's really those couple hot stars that in the center that are giving us everything that we see in the image today, from the hydrogen gas glowing to the oxygen glowing and in fact, the shape of the squid nebula that we see today, as well all caused in part by those stars. So that was our picture of the day for October the 7th of 2020. It was titled OU4, a giant squid in a flying bat. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.